Mississippi Delta Coahoma County will be boosting its crime fighting efforts through a new collaboration between the sheriff and Clarksdale police. This plan will allow the sheriff to deputize police so they can assist in making arrests in the county. As WRAG's Mike Siriani reports, the effort comes as more violent crimes are stretching the county's resources. And maybe this will be a strong template um, to show how the collaboration can work. Clarksdale Mayor Chuck Espy excited about a new crime fighting effort in Coma County that will allow the sheriff to deputize Clarksdale police, providing the county with more manpower when needed. According to a statement by the Clarksdale Police Department, quote, due to the recent events and the ongoing challenges our community faces, Chief Robbie Lindley and Sheriff Mario Magsby believe that a unified approach is essential to effectively combat violent crime and enhance public safety. They have agreed to an interlocal agreement to foster collaboration between the communities, end quote. The plan received unanimous support from Clarksdale's Board of Mayor and Commissioners. Mayor Espy says the program in the process of being rolled out will see Clarksdale police deputized on an as-needed basis, but both agencies working to take up the slack. So where there's a shortfall with the Sheriff's Department, the Police Department will pick up. And when there's a shortfall in the Police Department, the Sheriff's Department will pick up. It's believed the program will strengthen crime-fighting efforts in smaller towns in Cahoma County where violent crime has increased. But one resident who's for the program is also concerned about rising crime within Clarksdale. I'm not saying that these smaller towns and cities don't need help. But we need help here in uh, Clarks here. Friars Point is one community that could benefit from an increased law enforcement presence. I spoke with the police chief here in Friars Point to get his reaction to this collaborative crime fighting effort. Chief Fernando B. told me he fully supports it. For your news leader in Cahoma County, I'm Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. And there is plenty of work to be done there. In fact, Cahoma County Sheriff Mario Magsby tells us there have been no arrests in the shooting death of 41-year-old Dustin Patton, a farm worker in Friars Point. Patton was shot at the intersection of Highway 1 and Friars Point Road, where there are no surveillance cameras. The sheriff says he's still waiting for results from the state crime lab. We'll keep you posted on that.